Welcome back to the Napoleonic Stacking Channel. I'm the Napoleonic Stacker, and in this video, we're going to discuss should you buy the dip? Stay tuned. So over the course of the last few weeks, silver spot price has dropped by several dollars. Now this coincides with the Fed announcement for the rate hikes and a lot of things that are going on in the stock market. Stocks have been plummeting this last few weeks as well, and people have been liquidating their most liquid assets, and this includes paper contracts for silver and gold. This as a result is driving prices down for silver. And in addition to that, the Fed rate hikes have actually increased the DXY. So the dollar's purchasing power is effectively going up when compared to a basket of other fiat currencies. Strength in the dollar means weakening silver and gold prices. Now, do I think this is going to be something that continues, that keeps up? As far as the strength of the dollar goes, we all know what's going to happen ultimately. All fiat currencies go to its intrinsic value at some point, which is zero. Several major banks and financial gurus are predicting that we're going into recession. And typically when that happens, it's not always right up front, but down the road, a little bit further into the recession, metals tend to move. And I believe that's going to be the case for silver and gold, assuming that's what we're in. And with the Fed raising rates and continuing to increase those rate hikes, the stock market only has one direction it can go, and that's down. And even with cryptocurrencies, they've been moving with equity. So as the stock market drops, so are cryptos. And I believe silver and gold have significantly less volatility than cryptocurrency. It has a historic track record. And assuming we are going into recession, people are going to start putting their money into safe haven assets like gold and silver, which inevitably will drive the prices higher. So should you buy the dip right now? And should you be buying gold or silver? Well, it really depends on a lot of factors. Times are tough for a lot of people right now. And people are also getting out of cash, either to put money into investments or something that's going to preserve their purchasing power or just day-to-day -day living expenses where people are tapped out. If you're in a situation where you don't have a solid emergency fund built up to protect yourself, I would certainly hold off on any precious metal purchase. Even though we all know that cash is losing its value at the rate of anywhere between 8.5% to 15% per year, we need that cushion to be able to protect ourselves in the event of an emergency. But let's say you're stocked up on cash, you're ready to go. Should you be buying gold or silver now that prices have dropped? Full transparency, I did place an order just recently from Provident Metals. It was my first from Provident in about two years. Um, they're a great company. I've used them many times, but they've kind of fallen out of favor with a lot of people since JM Bullion purchased them. But I found a good deal on Provident and decided to make a purchase and also picked up a few pieces from my local coin shop, which I'm going to show you shortly. So we're going to consider gold first. As far as gold goes, it's down to right at $1,985 per ounce. And that's basically about a $100 free fall within the last couple of weeks. Gold historically is the best safe haven asset. It's the king of the precious metals. It's the most stable and it retains its value over time very well. We all know about gold, but even at that close to $1,900 price point, gold is at its almost all time high. Gold has traditionally kept up very well with inflation and right now gold, even with the reduced price is still very expensive in my opinion. And to consider silver at $23.60, which is its current spot price, silver is significantly lower than its all-time high when compared to gold. So I believe silver has a lot more room to move. And basically what I would be purchasing are coins or rounds that are as close to spot as possible. Now this one here, this is actually a 
commemorative coin that the U.S. Mint released in 2001 of the historic um, buffalo nickel design. But as far as what you should be buying, I highly recommend going for generic bullion like these buffalo rounds right here that you can get as close to spot as possible. And even coins like this right here, this is the Britannia. The silver Britannias are in a fantastic price point. They've got the best security features. It's a world-class coin for not a whole lot of money. With that, some people are still deterred from buying silver because the premiums have gotten so high. And ultimately, because of paper manipulation, supply chain issues, there's a lot of factors. That spread has gradually increased uh, from, say, 2018 until today. And some people want to wait for those premiums to come down. They want prices to drop even lower. And ultimately, it just it takes me back to when I first started stacking. And prices crossed $16 per ounce for the first time. It was like, hot dog, $16 per ounce. My investment has increased in value. And people would say, I want to wait till it drops to $14. Or when it got to $19, I want to wait till it goes back to $16. And ultimately, I believe those days are gone. Silver and gold, I think, only have one ultimate direction that they're headed, and that's up. There's going to be dips and there's going to be valleys and mountains, but ultimately in the long run, the precious metals are increasing. And I think right now is a good opportunity to, to pick up some silver on sale, search the deals, make sure you're getting it as close to spot as possible. Uh, but between silver and gold, I actually I'm purchasing more silver. And just to show y'all some fun silver coins that I picked up from my local coin shop, uh, actually yesterday, this is part of my world collection, and it's a French Hercules coin from 1875. And on the obverse here, it's got Hercules with two women on the, the sides. And on the back, it shows five francs, Republic of France. 1875 was actually the year five years after Napoleon III was deposed after the defeat at the Battle of Sedan. And it has some edge lettering and some stars. It basically translates to God protect France. So very, very cool coin to add to the stack. And I also found another really neat piece that I've never seen before. And this is a coin from the Latvian Republic. And it's got a Latvian maiden on the front. And basically she's wearing some kind of a ceremonial headdress. And on the back, you can see it says 1931. And it's five Lati. That's the denomination. So this was a coin that was struck shortly before the Latvians were brought into the Soviet Union. And they actually used this maiden on the new Euro coins that are struck for Latvia, which is pretty cool. This coin here is a little over 80% pure silver, and it's a 37 millimeter diameter. And the French coin is 90% silver, and it is also 37 millimeters in diameter. So just some, some pretty cool coins to add to the stack. Well, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, Share your thoughts in the comment section, share the video with friends, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate everyone, and until next time, Napoleonic Stacker, signing out.